Welcome to this video where we explore the history and significance of hunger strikes. In recent weeks, the world has been shaken by the death of hunger striker Kader Adnan, a Palestinian prisoner who was protesting his detention by not eating for over 50 days. Hunger strikes have roots in many cultures, usually being seen as a relatively non-violent means of protest or civil disobedience. Mohandas K. Gandhi, who is believed to be the father of modern non-violent resistance, famously used hunger strikes as way to help lead India in its fight for independence from Britain. With Adnan's death in Israel and Mustafa Qasim's starvation in Egypt, two infamous hunger strikers in recent memory, it is fair to ask how common it is for a prisoner to succumb to a hunger strike. While a refusal of food can lead to serious illness, it is not typical for a hunger strike to end in death. Bobby Sands, a provisional Irish Republican Army member, is an example of someone who died from a hunger strike, he was elected to British Parliament in 1981 while fasting for 66 days. The authorities often find hunger strikes to be an intimidating and destabilizing force, and many governments have taken measures to prevent the death of a hunger striker. One contentious practice is force feeding. Force feeding, which is done by inserting a tube down to the stomach, has been labeled as a form of torture and is contrary to medical ethics by the World Medical Association. In 2015, Israel's parliament passed a law that allowed the authorities to force feed prisoners in extreme circumstances, while the U. Military has force fed prisoners at Guantanamo Bay. It is clear to see that hunger strikes have been used to achieve a wide array of goals ranging from opposing dictatorships or improving conditions in prisons, to simply drawing attention to a cause. People, who are either imprisoned or free, have refused to eat in an effort to stand up to oppression or to draw attention to injustice. Cesar Chavez, the labor leader, went on a 36-day fast in 1988 to protest the treatment of farm workers in the United States, while Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny recently encountered international support when he ended a three-week hunger strike in prison to demand better treatment for his health. Lastly, Irish people who were imprisoned for opposing British rule staged hunger strikes in the 1920s to fight for their independence. The hunger strikes of the past, and ones of today, remind us of the power of non-violent resistance and activists that are brave enough to use their bodies to stand up for what they believe in. Whether it is used to protest an oppressive government or to bring about change within the prison system, the practice of hunger strikes has been an important part of history and will continue to play an important role in the years ahead. Thank you for watching.